Hi there, have you ever wondered where stuff like trees and birds come from, but most people's explanations aren't metal enough for you? Boy, do I have a religion for you, said first millennium pre-Christian Nordic civilization. My name's Jake, I came here to kick ass and talk about Norse mythology, and I'm all out of ass. So at first there was just a hot place, a cold place, and a whole lot of nothing in between. But then they started leaking and mixed their elemental juices together to make a big giant named Ymir, and he sprouted a bunch of kiddos called the Jotnar. Then a cow showed up from somewhere and licked a dude into existence, and then he had a kid who had three more kids named Vili, Vey, and Odin, and they were like, wow, this universe is kind of boring, huh? So they killed Ymir, and he dropped approximately 6.585 sextillion tons of materials, which they used to build a whole planet. But then the Jotnar were like, hey, it was kind of a dick move for you guys to kill our dad, then build a planet planet out of his corpse. Huh? Oh, hey, sorry guys. Yeah, we can't hear you over this big wall we built. This big wall that encircles the entire earth. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Can't help you. Bye. And then they made some people out of sticks and this guy Heimdall came and banged a whole population of them into existence. Then they decided Odin got to be in charge of everything. And in true chief deity fashion, he had a bunch of kids from various sexy goddess ladies. Like Bragi, who's into writing poetry. Vidar, who likes avenging his father's death at the hands of a giant kaiju wolf, hypothetically. And Thor, whose main hobby is killing Jotnar, and pretty much exclusively that, but he's very good at it. And then of course there's Baldur, who's a super cool guy that everyone likes. Literally everyone. See that squirrel? He's tight with Baldur. That rock over there? Baldur helped him move his couch last week. Sometimes he has bad dreams, but don't worry, it's probably fine. Nothing bad will ever happen to Baldur. Meanwhile, Odin decided he wanted to know how to do smart people things like reading and destroying people at trivia games. So he traded his eye to a guy named Mimir for a sip of his magic pool water, and then he vibed out on a tree for a few days trying to memorize the alphabet. And once he was was super duper smart, he knew secret magical techniques for predicting the future. All right, let's see what this one says. Don't make a sacred blood pact with a guy named Loki. He will betray the Aesir and then he and his children will bring about the end of the world. Shit. So the Aesir tracked down Loki's kids, each of whom bore a striking resemblance to their mother and father. Jormungand didn't seem very threatening, so they just tossed him in the ocean, but then he hit a fairly significant growth spurt. Oh hey, a tasty looking tail. Hum. Ow! Mmm, pain flavor. Hum, 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 hum. Then they sent Helen to Niflheim and put her in charge of managing all the dead people. Except any valiant warriors who Odin calls dibs on. He keeps them at his place. You know, just in case he ever needs them for something. Fenrir was just a cute puppy, so a guy named Tyr volunteered to take care of him. But then he turned out to have a similar metabolism to his brother, which posed an issue. So the Aesir commissioned some dwarves to make a super strong magical rope out of various non-existent materials. Hey, Fenrir, we were just thinking of doing a fun little game with you where we, uh, tie you up with this rope just to see if you can break out of it. You know, because you're so big and strong. Are you guys trying to imprison me for all of eternity? What? Uh, pff, no, F first of all, I am offended you would even say such a thing. We're just trying to play around here, you know, have some goofs. Okay, well, just to be safe, why don't we have one of you put your hand in my mouth, and then I'll let them go once you set me free. Uh, yeah, sure, that'll work. That sounds fine. That sounds great. Let's do that. <sighs> Alright, yeah, I'll do it. And wouldn't you know it, Fenrir was unable to break free, and Tyr was partially dismembered. Well, guys, I guess we should all give Tyr a hand. <laughs> 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 Hi, thanks for watching my video. If you thought it was super fun, then maybe you can go check out my other mythology videos or some of my silly cartoons that I sometimes make. And if you really want to go the extra mile, try that thing where you like, comment, subscribe, maybe? Cool. Thanks. Bye.